Hello, Namaskar and Adab to all my friends from your friend Astrologer and Guide Irfan once more with you from your very own channel Astro Assurance. We have been doing this planets in the D9 chart in the Navas chart series and we have done some planets so far. For example, we have already done Rahu place in the different houses in the D9 chart. We have already done Mars place in the different houses in the D9 chart and so on. These videos I will give you the link in the comment section below do see that because it will give you a deeper manifestation between the possibilities of the d1 chart and the probabilities of the d9 chart today we will be talking about the most benefit planet which is jupiter what is the manifestation the denotation it gives when jupiter gets into the 12 houses of the d9 chart now what does the first house of a d9 chart represent it represents all those areas which a lagna should represent However, this is the Lagna of the D9 chart, which means it is also about the kind of wealth which has been given as a probability to you for the areas linked to the first house. What is the first house? The first house is your ability to be able to get a lot of name, designation, stature in life, your thinking ability, your purpose of life. So, is there a higher probability of you to be able to achieve a name, fame, high designation, you will be able to see more strongly through the D9 chart because this is a house of probabilities. In your D9 chart, in the first house, if Jupiter gets placed, then Jupiter expands the ability for you to get name, fame, also to be able to lead your life with more wisdom and also with higher learning high experiences of learning however what is the d9 chart about it's more about a probability rather than a possibility which means that have you been able to use or will you be given a chance to be able to use your wisdom your high learning well so when the wisdom will be given to you through situations in life through tough experiences in life will you be able to stand up to those experiences using your wisdom and to be able to then use it to be able to increase your name, your fame, your stature through the manifestation of Jupiter getting placed in the first house of your D9 chart. So when Jupiter gets into the first house, it will expand the ability of the zodiac to be able to give you good name, fame, good stature in life and you will be able to get deeper into understanding what is the purpose of your life. There will be these questions in your mind, do I really know why I am here? And you will be given a high ability to be able to do that. Also, how others see you will be a stronger guru-like person, wise person, somebody who can give them wise counsel, who can be an advisor, guide to others. And these you may learn through a lot of challenges you yourself have gone. So usually Jupiter in the first house in your D9 chart doesn't mean everything is hunky-dory. It means that wisdom comes to you after getting a lot of obstacles, challenges, maybe a few kicks in life. And only when you get few kicks in life, you have become the football in life sometimes. That's when the learning also comes. That's when the experience also comes. That's where the maturity also comes. So Jupiter in the Lagna in the D9 chart in the first house means that you will be able to showcase through maturity, through experiences, learning from experiences and using them over a period of time, you will be able to get the name, fame, adulation and the high stature in life. You will be seen as a learned person, you will be seen as a wise person, you will be seen as a good guide. But only if you learn from the experiences that life has given you, then Jupiter will expand the benefit nature of Jupiter also. Otherwise, if you have not been able to relate this Jupiter to where Jupiter is placed in which house in your D1 chart and use it accordingly, then you will not be able to manifest the best results of Jupiter in the Lagna in the first house in your D9 chart. Now, if Jupiter is gone into the second house of your D9 chart, this means that if you have been given good wealth, will you also get the emotional fulfillment from the wealth? Will you also be able to firstly get the wealth using your wisdom, using your experiences, using the wisdom and the learning got from your gurus, from your learning, from your teaching or you are somebody who has got it maybe in inheritance but now is not being able to use it properly. So Jupiter gets placed in the second house which means you will be able to get wealth through your own wisdom, through your ability to be 
using your educational capability also this education may not be only educational qualification this could also be education which life gives you after going through hurdles after going through challenges after going through obstacles and will you be somebody who will also be able to save money will you be able to expand the savings after getting the earnings so jupiter gives you a higher probability to be able to do that and also get higher fulfillment emotional fulfillment out of that placement but here you have to be true to your community you have to be true to others to be ready to share your wealth with others to do more for others so only when wisdom is helpful in being able to get your wealth and share your wealth does jupiter expand this house because here we are in this world to be able to also serve others rather than do only for yourself so only when you are ready to share your learning your experiences your educational your qualification or your ability to be able to earn through your qualification through your learning will the zodiac also help you to do more however wherever jupiter is placed in your d1 chart you have to link it to the placement of jupiter in your d9 chart to be able to get more out of it so if jupiter is placed in your fifth house in your d1 chart which means using your ability to be able to get connected to something that you love to do that you desire to do you have interest in and using your wisdom to be able to use it to better effect rather than rushing into things taking risky actions rather than that using your wisdom rather than the martian energy to be able to expand through your interest through what you love to do taking risk in your jobs and your career but calculated risks wise risks through that being able to earn more money is how you should be able to see the connection between jupiter in the d1 chart and jupiter in the d9 chart when jupiter gets into the third house of your d9 chart here jupiter expands your ability to work hard also expands your ability to use wise communication expands your ability to be able to influence others even to be able to showcase yourself as a guru as a master as a teacher as a guide as an advisor as a strong consultant however you will be able to do that only after you have gone through the challenges in your life after you have become a student you have learned from life's experiences you have learned from life's obstacles you have learned from the challenges the life has thrown at you and then first becoming a student of life then becoming somebody who will be able to use it which means jupiter will expand your ability to work hard to be able to influence others to be able to create a good effect on others and through that being able to come across as somebody who is wise who is a good advisor who is a wise consultant and using your ability to communicate better in a wise manner in a learned manner you will be able to get more fruits of your labor get more fruits of your self enterprise when jupiter goes into the third house in your d9 chart but you will have to see where jupiter is placed in your d1 chart and connect the placement of the d1 chart jupiter with the placement of jupiter in the third house to be able to get the best results of your ability to communicate of your hard work out of your self enterprise when jupiter goes into the fourth house of your d9 chart here jupiter is in a very strong placement because jupiter gets exalted in the fourth sign which is cancer so jupiter here expands its ability to give you big houses to increase your assets to give you more comforts of life to give you more conveniences of life however jupiter puts a rider to how you will be able to get that through your high learning through experiences through maybe educational qualification but the best learning is how you learn from experiences when you face challenges when you face situation so here jupiter is not a possibility given to you jupiter is a high probability given to you either live in a large house as owning the house or live in the large house because either you are married to somebody or the working as a chauffeur maybe for a rich man and you are staying in the big bungalow in the servants quarters maybe so Jupiter will give you the higher probability to be able to get all that assets how to be able to build those assets is up to you if you don't use the learning if you don't use the experiences which come your way then you may end up still getting the results of good results from the fourth house assets better lifestyle better conveniences but not through your ability to earn from that maybe given to you because of your association with somebody so if you truly want to get better assets great conveniences life 
better quality of life and Jupiter to expand that be able to also use your learning use your experiences use the situation learning in your life to be able to expand assets in your life now do connect Jupiter's placement in your D1 chart to the placement of the D9 chart to be able to manifest the best results in assets of the fourth house so for example if Jupiter is placed in the sixth house in your D1 chart then through your services serving others maybe even the medical profession or maybe in a support services in a large organization through that you will be able to build your assets better so do see the connection between Jupiter's placement in D1 chart and then connect it to the placement of the D9 to be able to get the best results of Jupiter in expanding your savings expanding your assets and getting the best results best conveniences in your life when Jupiter gets into the fifth house of your D9 chart this is an extremely strong placement for Jupiter Jupiter is the Karaka of children Jupiter is also very strong in the fifth house connected to education fifth house is also the house of your Purvapunya which means a lot of good goodwill you are carrying over from your early innings so Jupiter when it places gets placed here it expands your Purvapunya and it expands the goodwill that you will get however the good will be will be coming to you you will be able to use utilize it better and Jupiter will expand it better only when you face the issues of the fifth house with more large heartedness with your wisdom with your learning and your ability to face the toughest of challenges of the fifth house yet be able to stand on your feet as somebody who's wise so in your romantic liaisons in in your ability to deal with children upheavals in your career upheavals in your investments learning from them and then using your experiences to be able to overcome those challenges and yet be able to derive best results out of the fifth house is what Jupiter gives you however do learn how to connect the Jupiter's placement in your D1 chart with the D9 chart to be able to get the best results of your Purva Punya better when Jupiter gets into the sixth house of your D9 chart now the sixth house is the house of service so Jupiter expands your ability to serve others better expands your ability to overcome competition but also expands the enemies in your life the inimical forces of your life the competition of your life people who are working behind your life they will also be able to get more energies if you fail to use your wisdom your ability to be large-hearted your ability to be able to comprehend before times what you may face and when you are able to do that you will be able to get better gains out of your service better gains out of your career better gains out of your team and you may be able to do very well in your competitive exams and be able to overshadow your competition also but only if you are willing to learn from the life challenges life situation issues which you have been facing this is also a strong placement that through your wisdom and through your ability to be able to work long hard hours using your educational qualification putting your hard work into getting more learning and through your learning being able to overcome others and that's how Jupiter will help you on getting placed into the sixth house but do connect Jupiter's placement in the D1 chart with its placement in the sixth house in the D9 chart say for example if, if Jupiter is placed in the third house of your D1 chart which means through your higher communication better communication wise communication because Jupiter will make you wiser if you are able to do that if you are able to know how to be able to use less words to be able to say more you come across as somebody who is very learned scholarly then you will also be able to do better in your service in your career so work on your communication to be able to get gains from the sixth house in your career Jupiter's placement in the third house getting connected to the placement in the sixth house when Jupiter is placed in the seventh house of your D9 chart this means Jupiter expands the ability to be able to be in a partnership to be able to synergize with others to be able to connect with others better and in a wise manner so Jupiter may expand you more number of people that you are able to connect in a wise manner in a good with a lot of goodwill however for that you will have to showcase your ability to act wiser first to be able to use your learning to be able to use your experiences even in tough situations and then you get gains out of the seventh house which means that in your partnerships in your relationship first you will have to showcase better wisdom first you will have to showcase large heartedness first you will have to showcase that I am ready to learn ready to do better and then ask for favors then ask for returns from that 
if you are able to do that then you get into a good partnership you get a good partner jupiter expand the goodwill the gains from that house but you will have to surely connect it to jupiter's placement in your d1 chart to be able to manifest jupiter's placement in the 7th house best for example if jupiter is placed in the second house of your d1 chart jupiter is the karaka of the second house so jupiter is very strong in your d1 chart and now if it's placed in the 7th house which means that you will be able to get a lot of goodwill and gains through your partnership if you work wisely and through that you will be able to increase your savings your livelihood your remuneration your income better and you will be able to expand it so much that you will not only be able to help your partnership your partner but also your community your family also so do be able to connect the placement of jupiter in the second house or wherever it is in your d1 chart with your placement of jupiter in the seventh house in your d9 chart if that is what your placement of jupiter is when jupiter is in the eighth house in your d9 chart what is the d9 chart eighth house eighth house is your longevity but eighth house is also the longevity of the assets the gains that you have got in life which means that jupiter will expand your longevity jupiter will also expand the gains that you are getting will also expand your inheritance will also expand your shared property will also expand or bring in goodwill in your relationship with in laws it will also help and expand your ability to gain from other people's wealth however only if you have showcase in your life you have worked with wisdom you have worked with high learning you have gone through tough situations in life yet acted in a wise manner in spite of your toughest situations you have not tried to take shortcuts you have worked hard you have worked on higher learning higher education education not only your education qualification but also through situations in life to get the better experiences in life and you have listened to your superiors and through that you have been able to face life's biggest challenges obstacles better then Jupiter expands the longevity of your life, expands the longevity of goodwill, expands the longevity of getting wealth from others, gains from others, wisdom from others also. But do see where Jupiter is placed in your D1 chart and connect Jupiter's placement of your D1 chart to the eighth house in your D9 chart. For example, if Jupiter is placed in the eleventh house in your D1 chart and now placed in the eighth house in your D9 chart, which means initial obstacles. in your ability to connect with people in your ability to work with friends in your ability to work with your elder sibling those relations will go through ups and downs those relations may go through obstacles before eventually you using your wisdom you using a large heartedness you using your experiences that you face in life and through that overcoming obstacles overcoming challenges and then having a better connect with society having a better connect with their network expanding your network to overall get gains increase the longevity of your assets and keep the obstacles and challenges away and that's how you should be able to connect the placement of jupiter in the 8th house in your d9 chart with the placement of jupiter in the d1 chart when jupiter is placed in the 9th house of your d9 chart it means here jupiter expands your ability to be able to get all the assets that you can get from the 9th house what are the assets from the 9th house your ability to do your dharma your ability to be able to get higher learning your ability to gain high educational qualification your ability to be able to learn from your gurus from your father from your teachers your ability to get high qualification across lands your ability to be able to connect with people from different communities and learn from them and share from them all that is expanded when jupiter is in your 9th house in your d9 chart so jupiter gives you higher probability of getting high gains through your education through your learning through your wisdom but first you will have to showcase wisdom in trying to get that learning trying to get that educational qualification before that qualification before that experience before that learning before that situation that you have learned from will be able to give you gains back and in that you will have to keep good relationships with your supervisors with your teachers with your father with all learned people and all elderly people in your life so that you are able to get the best gains of jupiter in the 9th house however here you should be able to connect jupiter's placement in your d1 chart 
with the placement of Jupiter in the ninth house of the D9 chart. So, for example, if Jupiter is placed in the lagna of your D1 chart and now gone into the ninth house of your D9 chart, which means only through your ability to be able to know what your purpose of life is, ability to use your education and how you deal with society in general, how are you able to showcase through your work what your purpose of life is, how you use your learning, your wisdom to deal with different situations in life and come across to people as somebody who is very learned, as a very wise counsel, as a good human being, as a large hearted human being, only then will Jupiter give you high gains of its ninth house placement in your D9 chart. When Jupiter is placed in the 10th house of your D9 chart, it expands your ability to be able to get best gains from your work, best relationship in your ability to be able to deal with supervisors, with authority figures. It may also give you the corner office, it may also give you the rise, but through your education, through your learning, through your experiences, but only when you have utilized your Jupiter with wisdom, you have utilized your Jupiter with the high learning ability which this placement has given you. If you are able to do that, then obviously you will get good gains, you will get good remuneration also and your relationship with your supervisors could also be very wise, very light hearted. They may also depend on you a lot. They may also see you as a guru. You may also come across as an expert in your work, as a strong person in your ability, as a strong person even in your technical knowledge. But see where Jupiter is placed in your D1 chart and then connect with your Jupiter in your D9 chart. For example, if Jupiter is placed in the 12th house of your D1 chart and now gone into the 10th house of your D9 chart, which means initially you may go through a lot of waste and excess. Your hard work may not bear you fruits. Your educational qualification may not bear you fruits. Your ability to work with different supervisors may go through lots of ups and downs. And only when you face obstacles, you have gone through a lot of waste of your efforts, waste of what hard work you have got without any appreciation, waste of your investments maybe, waste of how you will be able to deal with your relations. Only after having gone through those obstacles, the challenges, the fall, the falling down but dusting that all off and then being able to work on your relations, work in your career, work on your rapport with your seniors, with your authority figures, through that being able to get all the gains of your career is how you are able to connect the Jupiter's placement in the 10th house of your D9 chart with whichever placement of D, with whichever placement of Jupiter you have in your D1 chart, here we are talking about its 12th house placement. When Jupiter gets into the 11th house of your D9 chart, this is your ability to be able to get the best gains from your societal connections, how you are able to showcase yourself as a guru, how people see you in society which means high potential is given to you already that people will see you as an expert, people will see you as a guru, people will also allow you to deal with them wisely, they will also, Jupiter will also expand your social connect. However, only when you have already gone through initial downfalls in your social connect, initial challenges in your relationship with society, in your societal network, in your friendships. Only after you have gone through those experiences, good or bad experiences, have learned from those experiences and worked on how you will be able to deal with those relations more wisely, with your societal connections wisely and you will use your learning wisely to do more for society, to work towards societal causes. Through that, Jupiter will expand and give you the best results of Jupiter in the 11th house. All your wishes and desires will come true. Jupiter will help you to work in large organizations, in large brands, be able to get a lot of respect, name, adulation and mass success also, especially if Jupiter is in a very, very strong sign in the 11th house of your D9 chart. So do be able to connect where Jupiter is placed in your D1 chart with its placement in your D9 chart in the 11th house. So for example, if Jupiter is placed in the third house of your D1 chart and now gone into the 11th house of your D9 chart, which means through your ability to work hard, through your ability to work with a lot of self-enterprise, through your ability to work on your communication skills, wise communication skills, being able to work with large sections of society and working for a cause, being able to motivate them, being able to leave a strong influence on them. Through that, being able to connect and get better connect with society, be able to expand 
your societal reach and through that being able to expand 11th house's ability to get all your wishes and desires fulfilled so do be able to see the connection of jupiter placed in your d1 chart and now going into the 11th house of your d9 chart and through the connection and manifestation get the best results of jupiter in the 11th house in your d9 chart when jupiter goes into the 12th house of your d9 chart jupiter is very strong in the 12th house Though it is the house of waste and excess, but Jupiter also gives you the ability, the wisdom to be able to overcome the waste and excess of the 12th house. However, you will have to be more spiritual here. You will have to be more large hearted here. You will have to be more giving here. In fact, some of the giving should be first before you get gains out of the 12th house, which means if you are more charitable, if you are somebody who has a large heart to do more for others, stand by for others, be a good listener and be more patient just like a wise mind will first listen to you before the person reaches his or her conclusion before they advise you first they listen to you understand comprehend and then will give you their own learning will give their own advice so similarly when life throws challenges at you when thrive throws some issues at you when life throws some hurdles at you how do you in interact how do you keep your yourself above the water because the 12th house has ocean energies, Pisces energies. So, if you are able to keep yourself above the water, not trying to get into unreasonable desires, unreasonable dreams and misusing your effort, misusing in your investment which will then go to waste and excess without being able to give you what you truly deserve, only then will Jupiter give you good results. So, be ready to give more, be large hearted, to work hard, even sometimes when you don't have proper role and responsibility, you are left alone with the 12th house represent. In fact, needing to go to foreign lands, working in foreign lands, working alone, working hard, going through all of the challenges before eventually making yourself a success. And that is Jupiter's denotation in the 12th house. Do see where Jupiter is placed in the D1 chart to be able to connect it with its placement in the D9 chart in the 12th house. So, for example, if Jupiter is placed in the 7th house in your D1 chart and now gone into the 12th house in your D9 chart, this for women can also mean while you are married to somebody who may be a very learned person, even an expert, but there is a tendency, especially if Jupiter goes into an inimical sign or in a dosha in the 12th house, the distance between you and your spouse may be more. The distance sometimes may be physical, sometimes it may even be emotional distance. So be a little careful, especially for women if Jupiter goes into an inimical sign, in a bad dosha, in a bad conjunction in the 12th house. However, if Jupiter is very strongly placed, Jupiter is well placed, then lot of gains from foreign lands, lot of gains from your husband, lot of gains through your education, lot of gains through your experience, lot of gains through what you learn through experiences that you have faced in life, through your gurus, through various situations in life. And then through that wisdom, keeping the waste and excess away, being able to expand the gains which may come because Jupiter is placed in your 7th house on your D1 chart and through those synergies, through those relationships, through those expansion of the relationship, then getting gains and even being very spiritual, working for others which the 7th house represents, doing more for others, doing more charity for others, and in fact living for others and through that both through partnerships you will be able to gain and also be able to get more spiritual elevation in your life even a crack at salvation itself so do be able to see your connection of jupiter in the d1 chart and your connection of jupiter in the 12th house of your d9 chart to be able to manifest the best results from there so friends now that we have gone through how jupiter in the 12 houses in your d9 chart can manifest different results can manifest different permutations can give you different probabilities but all of them connected to how you are able to synergize between your jupiter's placement in your d1 chart and jupiter's placement in your d9 chart and then holistically be able to see them together and then manifest the best results out of that placement and only through that you will be able to get the best results of the biggest benefit Jupiter amongst whatever houses in your D9 chart Jupiter is placed there. So friends like this video, share this video and if you are looking for a personal consultation from me please reach out to me at the link given below. Till some other time with some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide Irfan signing off. Ciao.